Yes, yes, my people. We are still waiting for the team lineup from our gaffer, the coach, Pochettino. You know, tonight's game is going to be a late evening match. It's not going to be afternoon match. It's going to be late evening. Yeah, it's going to be around 6.45 p.m. game. And so the team lineup is also delayed. I was hoping to get a team lineup now and give you. But then, realizing the match is going to be delayed, I'd rather bring you my quick updates, exclusives, breaking news. Yes, that is happening around the world of football. Whilst we wait for the team lineup and the match itself later tonight. All right. Some weeks back, I said it to you that there is a great possibility of Victor Osimhen to Chelsea. And most of you were doubting it. And most of you, even in my comment section, I, one of our brother tried to even attack me. Oh, it's not possible. It is and that. And I understand the hazards of this business we are doing. Sometimes people may disagree with you because they don't have the inside information. What we, the information we used to receive, Sometimes that is why I want you to sign up for that, you know, for this channel. When you join the channel, you made a channel your own. There is a place where exclusives, exclusives, information we cannot release to the public until they are about to manifest. We can discuss that there. When you join the channel, you receive certain details of information. We discuss things there. We can have panel discussions on the channel, right? Like tonight's game, you might come on Zoom or anywhere we would have a discussion. We can call you to receive your inputs on a game between Chelsea and Brighton tonight. That is when you have become a member. It doesn't take much. Maybe you are in Africa, you are in Ghana. Highest, maybe 100 Ghana cities to register. It depends. There are three levels. There are three categories. Okay? There are three categories. Maybe 100 Ghana cities, when you convert the money there, 100 Ghana cities, 200 Ghana cities, up to about 300 or so, all right? Then when you are in Nigeria, it also depends on the, your currency value right now. It's very easy. And you'll be part of the channel. You, that means you own the channel. I'm just encouraging you, you that have been following this channel. Click on that join button on the top. If you go to the channel right now, you see it there. You go to the, the channel right now, you see it there on the, yeah. On the top right side of the channel, you will see there's a play the right join. Just click on that join. It will take you to a page. It will take you to a page. And on that page, you register. We have the loyalty salon. We have the Mac team loyalty. We have Keller loyalty. Yeah, when you click on each one, the, the, the amount there, it will be converted to your rate, how much you have to pay. Okay? Then we take it from there. When you click on Mac Team Loyalty, it also has its own amount there. We have Keller Loyalty. All these have exclusive benefits. It depends on where you want to belong and the information you want to be receiving. I talk about um, Victor Osimhen some weeks back, and now we are seeing something great happening, which might, you know, bring our dream to reality by January. Yes. What is happening right now in Napoli might bring the reality back in January. Okay, it might just be that Victor Osimhen, breaking news, breaking news. Victor Osimhen could take legal action against Napoli. Per his agent Roberto Calenda former statement. What happened today on Napoli's official profile on the TikTok platform is not acceptable. A video mocking. Victor was first made public and then, but now belatedly deleted. There was a video there. I watched the video. I, I, I cannot put the video on this platform for anybody to see it. Victor Osman missed a penalty and there was a video about him on Napoli's website, on Napoli's platform, mocking. It looks like they tried to, you know, create a caricature of him, which is not good. After they were the attention of the club was called to it, it was deleted. And so the, 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 the agent of Victor Osimhen issued a statement on the issue that they, they might take a legal action against the club. They might take a legal action. A video mocking Victor was first made public and then, 
but now belatedly deleted. A serious fact that causes very serious damage to the player and adds to the treatment that the ball is suffering in the last period between media trials and fake news. We reserve the right to take legal action and any useful initiative to protect Victor. That was a statement issued by the agent. And I'm getting my sources from Fabrizio Romano. He's a reliable source. Now, if you go now, there are informations that Victor Osimhen has deleted all photos, according to ESPN. And I check it on Victor Osimhen's pages, Instagram and other pages. He, Victor Osimhen has deleted all photos and videos featuring a Napoli shirt on his Instagram Napoli after the club posted a video mocking the player on TikTok. So Victor Osimhen has deleted every photo that is wearing the Napoli shirt on his Instagram page. That is a breaking news. And it starts like this. The player will begin to be unsettled. There will be, be, there will be issues of racism will begin from there. And that is why someone like me, I am hoping, I am believing, and I'm trusting that by January, Chelsea's problem of a striker could be resolved. Many would have preferred Ivan Tony. I spoke about Ivan Tony throughout this week. But I also know that Arsenal, the player's choice might, will be Arsenal, definitely. With Victor Osimhen, we don't have a champions, we don't have European football to play. But he understands that Chelsea is a place where they love to deal with, you know, African players. Yeah, we, we know how to handle African players in Chelsea. And I believe with the conviction of um, Mikel Obi, Michael Essie, and the rest, the player would love to play for Chelsea. I saw a photo also of his child when he was wearing Chelsea jersey. So definitely he has a link. He has a, you know, he has heart. Part of his heart is with Chelsea. Okay? Right now, as it stands, there are issues with Victor Osimhen and Napoli. That is a breaking news and his agent hinted of a legal action against the club. If that should happen, that then between now and January, it's possible the player will seek for a move away from Napoli. Don't forget, his contract is to, will be, is to expire in the next year or so, two or two years. Yeah. And they presented to him a fresh contract, which he has not signed yet. He did not sign. That contract is on the table right now, but he refused to sign that contract. So there's a possibility that Napoli, they themselves, they might look for a buyer, maybe January or next summer. But if things continue this way, the player might seek to leave Napoli by January. And I am hoping that just as my first information that I received last week or last, last week or last two weeks, if that information was to be true, then the processes will begin from now. I believe Chelsea are keeping a close eyes on a new development with Napoli. Chelsea definitely will be keeping a close eye on new developments there. All right, back to Chelsea before we move to other news. Epic Sports Agency owner, Ali Berat, Chelsea did an excellent investment by signing Moises Casaido. The player will receive 150000 a week. He was on 60k a week at Brighton. He is a mix between Bellingham and N'Golo County, according to Tuto Sport via Fabrizio Romano. That the, the player now, his salary is £150,000 a week. He was in Brighton receiving 60000 a week. Now he has received more than double of that amount in Chelsea, right? And according to the Epic Sports Agency owner, Ali Barat, this guy, Kasaido, if he's fully fit, he's between Bellingham and Ngolo County mix. That makes him a special player. Makes Kasaido a very special player. All right, for those of us that are interested in AFCON, well, before I go there, before I go to AFCON, Levi Cowell on facing Brighton tonight, <laughs> playing against old mates. When you step onto the pitch, it changes. It goes from playing against mates to rivalry. At the end of the day, you both want to win. Having done that already against them in preseason, in preseason has helped me a lot. And when we go into this game, 
we will hopefully do the same thing. Go on to win and get into the next round. Of course, they are a good team, but we can definitely beat them. This is from Levi Kowe. Last season, Levi Kowe was with them. And this is, they wanted him. They wanted him badly, so badly. They didn't want to let him go. When we went, were going for Casado, they wanted to do exchange with Chelsea. As a matter of fact, it became like um, uh, give and take. You give us Cowell, Levi Cowell, we give you Casado. But Chelsea insisted on buying Casado outrightly. We insisted that we are not going to sell Levi Cowell to them. It was more like a battle between Chelsea and Brighton. So the player just issued a statement saying, well, it's a rivalry. Playing against old mates, yes. But right now it becomes a rivalry. And he will be determined to win against them. He will be determined to win against them. Quickly to AFCON, to AFCON, to AFCON, African Cup of Nations. Breaking news. With 22 votes, Morocco get AFCON 2025 hosting rights as expected. That's the breaking news there also. Morocco gets the AFCON 2025 rights to host the African Cup of Nations, Morocco, 2025. A year, 2025, Morocco are the country to host Africa Cup of Nations in the year 2025. They won the bid by, with 22 votes, 22 votes against Nigeria, zero, and Algeria, zero. Yeah. So that is it. For those of us that are interested in Africa, and uh, we are Africans. I am an African. Yes. And you from Nigeria, Ghana, any part of the world you are, you are an African. This is the breaking news for you. Morocco will be our host in 2023. 2025, sorry. 2025. All right. Let me leave you here. I will come your way. Once the team sheet is released, and we know the players that are going to feature in the game, I will surely come with that exclusives for you. See you. Shalom and peace.